Oh, kiss. Mm, and big cuddle. Big big cuddle. I love you. Tohia, tohia. I can make an agreement with a stranger that we both get paid money and we can beat the shit out of each other for a certain amount of time with a certain amount of rules. And that's like a gentleman's agreement. Like, I'm a gentleman, you're a gentleman, let's be gentlemen. And then when the door closes, we'll, then we'll turn into animals for 15 minutes and we'll let that part of ourselves exist in a space into my tawina. And then we return to Rongo and we can exist as a better person because we have the opportunity to release those parts of ourselves. Having that light and that dark is what gives you life. Without contrast, you can't see anything. Ko tangi te titi, ko tangi te kaka, ko tangi o ki ai tihei o mauiora. Ko oto mai o tuku maunga, ko wai papa tuku awa, ko ngapu i tuku iwi, ko ngati toro tuku hapu. Ko ngā tuki matawhaoru a tuki waka, nō rāhari a hau. Ko Eric, rawa ko Maria oku mātua. Ko Dylan tuku tōkana, ko Tyrone tuku teina. Ko Aaron, tau tuku ingoa. My name is Aaron. People call me Toes Em Up. Tau. I am 28 years old and a professional MMA fighter from the far north. I train at the Combat Academy and City Kickboxing. I am currently 5-0, three-time XFC bantamweight champion and undefeated. I'm just a young Māori boy trying to make a life out of something I'm apparently good at. Haven't lost a fight in six years. Other than to my missus, I've lost a lot of those. <laughs> it's what used to be our job, me and my little brother. He'd train them, mouth them, and then he'd just chuck us on. Yeah, no, it's tame ass so if I could fly off that way. Because I come up here like a couple of weeks ago, and he gave me a wild horse and chucked me on it. He's like, yeah, I'll sort you up. I rode it up and down the road, up the bush, and then come back and it was tame, and he was like, how the fuck did you do that? So I'm just told me it was tame, so I rode it like it was tame. Because he's like, yeah, that horse hasn't been the same since you left. <laughs> Growing up in the far north, for me, was amazing. My mum and dad moved here when I was just a baby. We grew up how you're meant to grow up. Pretty much lived off the land. Our whole life was like in tune with nature. Don't know what it is about riding horses. They taught me a lot about humans. Like just the way that you interact with them and how to deal with personalities. Growing up in Ahri, violence was like real normal. It was real, real normal. Watching our aunties get beaten up and tied to cars and people getting run over. It wasn't even frowned upon <laughs> when I was a kid. When I was about 15, my mum and my dad were going through a rough patch. They were just a toxic, domestic violence relationship. And I walk out into the lounge and they're, they're having a fight and I was just sick of it. I don't want to live like this anymore. So I'm gonna do something about it. My dad had just snapped his Achilles, so he was in a moon boot. And if I ever had a time, if I had ever had a chance, I felt like it was then. I told my dad, no, if you wanna fight someone, fight me landed a few shots. I felt good, I felt, I felt like I was doing all right <laughs> for the first time ever. And then my mum come out and I looked over and before I looked back, I got hit. Ko ngā mātauranga kua heke, e āhei ana ki te whakamahi mō te kino te take, me nā i taka ki ngā ringaringa he. Ko kore e tika me na e tuku a noti e nei ma tau ranga ki a waiake. Me mara mara wa ki te aria o ona i homatu. Ka mutu me mohio e fanga ia atu ana e nei ma tau ranga ki ngā tangata e to tika ana. 
My mum decided that it was probably best that I get out of the environment that I was in. So she put me on a plane and sent me to Australia. I met my missus. After all of the dark, crazy, insane things that I would do when I was emotionally and mentally unstable, it was actually my missus and my brother. And they would just be like, it's OK, I still love you. The greatest sacrifice was of the people around me. This affects their lives more than it affects mine. My kids don't get to see me a lot. My missus doesn't get to spend a lot of time with me. A lot of the decisions that I make are of an investment towards the future me. And over the years, I've developed the ability to let my dad be who he wants to be and not who I think he should be. It's allowed me to have a better relationship with him. Let my kids have a relationship with him. They can have a grandfather. I can have my dad in my life. Definitely grateful that that's happened. E tae ana e te katoa te rongo i te riri, he waingohi anoiho, e ngari anō te riri i te wā e tika ana, ki te taumata e tika ana, mō te take e tika ana, tatū iho ki te tika o te āhua. Kaore tēnā i roto i te katoa, ā, e hanga atu a kē. Excellent, so fight number one, start with Aaron Joe, please. 55.4. Could I have that breakfast? Come around, guys. <laughs> Karo patu ki te tai no tu, karo ma pere ki te tai no tu, karo patu ki te tai no tu. Toi tau ki te wai o kara kapani. The battle of good and evil is like that. There's two wolves inside you, and they constantly fight. What they're fighting for is your energy and the ones that you feed becomes the strongest. I started feeding the part of me that everyone told me that I was, that loving, caring person. And it has balanced me out. All of the pain that I've gone through is the reason why I have that darkness. It allows me to come home and cuddle and kiss my kids, be affectionate with my missus and give my mum a hug, tell my cousins and my dad that I love them. Kei roto i ngā wā ka pare tuara atu koe ki te ihi o te rā, ka whakatau rā nei koe ki te aropū atu me te whakamahi i ōna kura hei akoranga whakatipukia. People serve a purpose, and that purpose is theirs. And I have decided to do it in the way that I feel my tūpuna would appreciate. Ko te angi tūtanga hea mea kāri i puta i o mōhiotanga, engari i te huarahi kē o te whakamahi. Kei roto anō hoki i tā tātou whakau i o tātou kaha ki te kite, he aha kei tua i o tātou ake au e māpara. Mā tēnei ka hihiri, me te matatau ake, ka puritia, 
kia mana watea o na rongotoa e ngā reanga kei te whai i o mātou takahanga wai. Kou te toa o toku whānau. I am the warrior of my family. The purpose of all of this, to be 100% truthful, is because I'm being selfish. I want to go back in time and save me. And that's the ultimate goal of this life of mine, is to win a world title, become the best, and then just move back up far north start up a gym and all of the kids that were just like me that needed direction and someone to look to give them what i needed a gym a home giving them hope and then all of this pain and suffering would have been worth it because i can stop the next generation feeling what i've felt that means it ends with me Thank you.